right. So a lot of labs present simplification as a simple process, and it is. So we're going to make it a little bit more complicated here. And what we're going to do is we're going to work out with actually some raw palm oil. So raw palm oil here actually is not very clean when you get down to it. There's a lot of things that naturally occur in palm oil that aren't the palmitic acid that we're trying to isolate here. So as a first step, we do is take five grams of our raw palm oil. Palm oil. We're going to add 50 mLs of deionized water. And we're going to heat this up pretty high temperatures to the point that we begin to melt the um, palmatic oil, palm, the palm oil, and it liquefies. The reason we're going to do this is that there are water soluble impurities in the raw palm oil. And so by heating it up, we liquefy it, we get good contact between the aqueous phase and the raw material we're starting with, give it a good shake, and then we'll chill, chill it back down. This will re precipitate out all the um, organic solids decant it, and that'll be the first step in our saponification, the water extraction of water soluble impurities. So I'm gonna cut the video off, let this get up to temperature. Once it gets up to temperature, turn the video back on, and I'll show you what it looks like, and then we'll condense it back down. All right, so what I've got here now is the melted palm oil. And we're gonna give it a good stir for about five minutes. I've been kind of doing it off camera, so if you're wondering why I'm kind of short, that's why. But basically, we got this nice viscous goo on top, and dissolved underneath all of it, should be our water soluble impurity. So down here in this water phase, and of course you can't see it in the video, but you can definitely smell it here. There's a little bit of an odor to this water, and this is because we're leaching out those impurities. So now that we've got it good melted, got it good and stirred up. Next step here is we're gonna dunk it in ice water. Of course, it's gonna be stubborn on me today. And what we're gonna wait for is for it to re-solidify. And when it gets done re-solidifying, that's when we'll decant off the um, water phase. So I'll cut the video and we'll fast forward to when it finally solidifies. So one thing I wish we could do like better in these videos is show you like kind of what's going on inside the beakers in real time. What I always find kind of interesting about this stuff is that as it gets closer and closer to like re-solidifying, it starts getting thicker and thicker, but it's so when you freeze things, usually like you don't see a change until it freezes. This stuff will actually keep getting thicker and thicker and thicker until finally it forms the solid. So right now I'm getting a lot of solids on the walls. It's just about ready to go. Come on, buddy. Yeah, we definitely kind of got like a, yeah, I would best describe it as like melted butter on soup thing going on here. But that's it. So now I've got my material solidified. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the material and I'm going to decant off all the water. Now, I can actually decant this straight into the sink. And the reason I can do this, and not to worry about the waste disposal here, is that this is a natural product, and there's no chemicals that have been used yet in the processing. And all I've done is heat, it, heat up an edible uh, plant oil and use the hot water in order to extract out the undesired impurities. But now I can just take those impurities, pour them right down the drain, And there is my first step at purifying the raw palm oil. 